Hey everybody, so it's the boss lady here and I'm getting ready to go to my meeting um, with Target. Um, now I won't be able to record it, but I wanna give you my 59 cent about it. So I have to be there in 10 minutes. We gotta fly. <laughs> Starts at 1.15. <sighs> I um, took my wig off as you can see. And um, I'm okay with that. I was going to actually like wash my hair and braid it up and put my wig back on. And I decided not to do that. So, yeah, but my hair is still wet. So I'm a little concerned about getting, you know, oils and stuff on my, dang it. Oils and stuff on my car. Luckily it's leather, so that's good. I got all these cars coming. I'm like, geez, the one time I want to back out. <laughs> Don't want to make the block. Like a stranger danger van. I'm like, who is this? But anyway, so I'm excited about the meeting. Um, I don't know how to feel. I don't know how to feel. I don't know how to feel. I'm nervous, I guess. But there's really nothing to be nervous about. I mean, they're going to ask me questions about me being a community member and things going on in my community and it's starting to rain great um but you know so i'm just going to i'm gonna speak from the heart you know what are the things that we need in our community what you know to change things up and make things better and to be more inclusive as about as opposed to you know excluding folks and being segregation type of city segregated type of city so yeah okay hopefully they're speeding and i'm not like i was about to say because my car is saying 33 and it says 35 so because they was doing 38 <laughs> but um anyway so yeah so i'm really excited about this opportunity um i hope it all goes well um you know i just I am of a caliber of I want to make a difference in my city. You know, a lot of people are like, oh my God, you know, black people live in Minnesota. Black people live everywhere. I'm just saying. Um, you know, I didn't know that uh, this goes on in Minnesota. Like, we didn't get put on the map until everything that happened with George Floyd, which, you know, no disrespect to him. Pulling up my umbrella. No disrespect to him, but, you know, we're more than just the city that basically got burned down or whatever, you know. I mean, we're still dealing with food deserts, you know. They've taken away our, um, a couple of our stores and things and, you know, and some of it's because of the crime, honestly. It's really because of the crime. I mean, I know we lost a Walmart recently, but the Walmart wasn't in Minneapolis. It was in a suburb. So, but, you know, still... A lot of the crime that comes from here goes out there, you know. So I just, I'm going to speak straight from the heart. I have seven minutes. I will be there, but I have seven minutes. Like, seriously, I have seven minutes. My head is like, whew. It feels weird having my hair out. Like, where did I do that at? I mean, my hair has been up for months. Since, what, February-ish, maybe? I have to look back in my pictures, but yeah, my hair has been up, up, up. And it was time for it to come down because it was some of the, um, oh, it's really raining out here. Some of the um, braids were kind of turning to dreads. So my head is kind of feeling some kind of way. Make sure not to hit that hole this time. Uh, there's a big old hole right there at that stop sign. I guess I never noticed it because I'm never on that side of the street until today, earlier, and I was like, oh my God. But anyway, it's really raining. Like, oh my God. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Maybe that's the ancestors giving their their approval and giving me light and prosperity on all of this. I want to be a part of this collaboration so bad. So, yeah. The boss lady is not just about YouTube, child. I got other aspirations and I'm trying to work it out. 
Oh, my heart. Okay, I got six minutes. I'm right here. I'm about to turn in the parking lot. I'm just gonna get wet. I don't like getting wet. I don't like to sweat and I don't like getting wet. Like seriously. I don't even know how to open this thing. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe the rain. I'm gonna say, how come my thing ain't working? Shit, I had turned it off. Uh oh. Oh, and there's no cold spots. I'm really gonna get wet. Shit. It's like, I mean, all the, mm, all the handicap is sold up. Five minutes. Mm, mm, mm. Lord have mercy. Oh, there's one right here. Praise God for that. Praise God for that. Okay, guys. Well, I will uh, check in after it's over. Hey, everybody. I'm back. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, first let me tell you about this thing here. So this is the umbrella from Timu, right? Okay, compact umbrella. Fits right in my purse. I could leave it in the car. But anyway, y'all, how about it started raining so bad when I tell you it was raining my whole door. I'm surprised my stuff done dried up. There's still a little wetness in my door frame. It was raining so daggone bad, I was trying to open up the thing and I couldn't get it open. So my whole door just got sopping wet. I was like, oh my God. But um, it was a great, a great gathering. Um, oh my God, the people were amazing. They just wanted to hug me and... Child, you was about to be toast. Anyway, um, they just hugged me and thanked me for, you know coming and meeting with them. I was their very first interview. Uh, so happy about that. Yeah, it was it was great. I am super excited to work alongside this collaboration. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What happened to my thing? Here we go. Oh. I had some text messages come through. That's what that was. Let me see what 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 you talking about. Um, but anyway, it was good. Um, they wanted to just know more about me. They wanted to know about um, my city, about my community. Um, yeah, it was great. It was really really great. Uh, they're doing this collaboration with. A lot of different people and um, yeah I'm just excited so it's going to be a like a year-long collaboration I'm for it I'm whatever you need just call me <laughs> you know um, and I spoke highly of my community and one thing they asked me because you know they were asking about like the crime and the violence or whatever but the one thing they asked me which I will hold true hands down they said because you don't do any business in the area and because you know there is like an uptick in crime or whatever um, why do you stay I said well for one thing I said my house is on rich soil I said North Minneapolis is rich soil I said so I would have to be bought out in order to go <laughs> honestly um i said second of all you know my home is a legacy home it's generation on top of generations i mean generations have lived in that home we are the well technically what fourth gen well miss peanut would be considered fourth generation my grandson is considered fifth generation in that home so like i said they someone would have to truly truly buy us out you know what i actually turned to go to the wrong way mm. Ooh. Hold on, y'all. Wait a minute now. Mm. Something ain't right. Oh. Hold on. Hold that thought. Okay. Sorry about that. I had to, um, trying to figure out what's going on with my hand. But anyway, 
Um, it was a great collaboration. Uh, I was the first interview. And I also found out that my daughter's principal is also going to be interviewed. So that's, you know, I'm amongst good people. Hello. <laughs> uh, I'm really excited, though. I mean, I am over the moon for what they uh, are trying to do. And it's, it's a few, you know, targets involved. One of our colleges is involved. So I'm really excited. But, you know, they, they want to know... They want to know more about me and, and you know, all everybody I spoke to, none of them were from Minnesota at all. And so, you know, to know that I was born and raised here and, you know, pretty much I've lived within that. I've never moved outside of that zip code. Even though I've moved to different little entities, I still stay in the same zip code. Um, not that it's a good thing bad thing or whatever is just my choice okay so um you know they asked me about schooling and you know because i work for a school and my daughter goes to school within the community and things like that and you know have i thought about putting her in school outside the community and i told him i did you know i said and, and it didn't work well for us so yeah um you know, and then they wanted to know about the community pride and and they also wanted to know about the um, disconnect between the elders and the young people and what do I consider it to be and think, oh, it was amazing. And they just kept saying, you know, and we talked about, you know, like single parenthood and, you know, and then like me and myself always seeking out resources for my kids and stuff so he was just like the guy he was like you know what that resonated with me because my mom was a single mom and you know she raised four kids and da, da 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 you know so and then like the one lady she's from india oh my gosh she's so beautiful and so um you know she's like I've never experienced snow before. I'm terrified of the snow, blah, blah, blah. I mean, you know, just all kinds of things. But it was a great conversation that that needed to be had. And I was glad to share my story, you know. So, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so that was my time with Target, y'all. Who knows? Boss lady might be, I don't know now. So, yeah. But they're going to be talking with me over the... It's gonna, like I said, it's going to take about a year before they actually get together what they want. And then um, go from there. They also asked me, you know, what are some things that I would like to see in the community and things like that. And I said, you know, we need resources. I, honestly, for people who don't have the means, like, you know, I have the means. You know, but there are a lot of people who don't have the means. They don't have a car. They don't, um, they don't have the wherewithal to think outside the box and things like that. So they need resources. They need. They're, we need community centers for the youth. We need centers for the the um, the elders. You know, um, excuse me. We need resources as far as like certifications you know skill sets and stuff like that you know there's a lot of a lot of things that people could do but they don't have the the means to get get it you know some people don't want to go to college for four years and six years and eight years and whatever but you know if you could get certified and something and get to working and make a, a honest living to be able to support your family yeah you know, but I talked about how, you know, my community used to be a, a Jewish community. And when it started to integrate, that all the Jewish folks moved out. And then that was that was a big change, too. You know, so there's been changes on top of changes. But once again, we live on rich soil. And like I told them, I said, when the bubble burst in 08, everybody's property value went down. You know, I said, and now... In 2023, my property value has doubled, if not tripled. So, I pr thank and praise God for that. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I'm not going anywhere. You got to buy me out. And you got to pay top dollar. Full face value. Old home or not. Because, see, it's not about the home. It's about the soil. Huh. Okay. 
It's about the bones, as Fruganista would say. Got good bones, so yeah. <laughs> so they gotta pay me in order to get my house, get my corner. Period. Point blank. But that's my time with Target. I cannot wait to see what happens. So let's see. You know, a year from now, what the outcome is. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.